Hey everybody, Corinne Musser from MuckingFusser.com and at Mucking underscore Fusser on Instagram here today to share with you my very first watermark rolling tutorial. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. First I wanted to share with you guys some of the tools you'll be needing to do the water marble. I couldn't make this in another video, but I wanted to just do it all in one to show you guys right off the bat. Alright, so first off, you're going to need yourself some orange sticks. You may already have these if you do nails a lot. These um, are used to like make nail art and to clean up your nails. This is here's what I use these three things for. I use this one right here to pick up the nail polish in the water when like the excess forms around that's not on your nail. I use this one right here to make the design in the water. It has a nice kind of point at the end, not too pointy. And then this one right here I just use to uh, clean up around my nail. And as you can see, I don't have my nails polished right now. That is because one, I just took off the manicure that I'm about to show you guys, which is this right here, this spirally one. Um, and I wore it for around two weeks. And then two, because I loved it so much, two, I just broke my little pinky. Oh, I'm so sad. But I haven't <laughs> cut my other nails because spirals look great on long nails. So, yay, nail addict life. What are you going to do? And this hand just is sad like always. Um, okay, so let's keep going with the things I want to show you guys. You're going to need your, to get yourself a nice cleanup brush. It doesn't have to be too nice, but this is the one I use. It's actually fairly not nice at all. It's only a dollar. Uh, it's the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow brush. You can find it at Target. Like I said, only a dollar. So I always I buy a crap ton of these every time I go. You're also going to want uh, to get a nice stack of Q-tips. You can never have enough of those. And you're going to want to grab yourself a little... Uh, dish of polish remover um, because to, to put your q-tips and your brush in yay um, so then you're gonna also well, I like to have this not I don't know if everybody does but I like to have a nice uh, thing of tweezers around because hairs tend to fly onto my nail and that's very bad for water marbling so nice pair of tweezers for hairs and then, of course, you're going to want to grab yourself a base coat, white coat, and top coat. Here's what I use. I'll put a link to those in the comments. Rejuva Coat, Cirque, Cirque, <laughs> and HK Girl. Um, and then, also, of course, you're going to want to grab yourself a little cup. This is one I usually use right here. This is a three ounce like white cup, the one you kind of get when you're at the dentist um, that you get water out of or whatever. Uh, so you can find these at Walmart or at various uh, stores and whatnot. I can't use this one because I've used it so many, time, many times that the polish has gotten a hole in it. So we're not gonna use that. But I still have it because I just can't throw it away. I don't know why, I just can't. <laughs> um, so we're gonna use this cup right here. This is like a, harder, slow, little, like, little shot glass cup. I think I got a Kohl's or something. Um, and I've used it a few times too. It's just a little less deep. So you're going to need that. And then lastly, you're going to want to grab yourself some, um, some scotch tape. I use scotch tape because I feel like it adheres to your nail better than this kind of tape right here, which some people use. And I don't like Vaseline either. I just think this works great. So to start off, course you're going to want to paint your nail white. Grab a small piece of the scotch tape and wrap it around the base of your nail as so. And then you're wanting to grab, these are our pieces that I've pre-cut or pre-ripped, not too hard. Also scotch tape isn't very hard to rip off so it's nice. You're going to want to grab another piece of tape, a long one, to wrap around the out part, outer part of your nail, like so. And just kind of push it underneath there. All right. Which is I'm using right. are from the A Night in Vegas collection by Pipe Dream Polish. They consist of seven beautiful neon creams, which all water marble great for um, 
which is all one of our greats, excuse me. Um, this is the only one I'm not using because it's there's two blues in the collection. This is called Happy Hour. Can't really see that. Um, this is a nice teal, so I'm using the regular blue. So let me just get all my things together here and let's get going. All right. So we're going to start out with the orange and move on our way and see what we want to kind of. What I like to do for the first color is leave it in the water for a second so that it dissipates out. And if it doesn't dissipate all the way out for you, you know, kind of help it maybe a little bit. And then go on to the next color. So as you can see, these are nice bright colors. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we have our first bullseye. We're just gonna let that kind of sit there for a second, dissipate out. And then we're gonna go boom with the next colors. So let's tell, I'll tell you what the colors name are. The orange is called 110 degrees. This yellow is called Light of Day. This green is called High Roller. <clears throat> this blue is called All In. This purple, VIP Pass. And so I just put a little bit too much of that glass color in there. So what I'm gonna do is take my orange stick and dip it in and remove some of it, just like that a tiny bit and then this last color is called on the list of course the nice pretty pink one would be on the list all right so now what you want to do is take your stick that you use for um, designing and you're going to want to go from the middle to the sides and make sure to wipe off your stick right after you do that then you want to go from the middle to the sides again, but over this way. And do that again once more. Make sure you're using just the tip of the uh, stick. Not going too deep. So now what you want to do is go into the center. So I like to do these ones first. Make sure to wipe. So what I did there was I kind of dipped my stick in the middle to kind of connect the two points that I just brought in. Now you're going to do that again for the other parts. Kind of connecting them all. If you need to, you can go through it again. And then you go on to the other side. All right, so now we have this kind of little mess in the middle. So what we're gonna do is take our stick, kind of glob up what we want and dip it gently, pick it back up, dip it again if you need to, and pick it back up. So we can stop here indefinitely and just boom. But for this tutorial, we're going to go a little bit farther. So now you want to take your stick and go onto the outer part and kind of just gently drag your stick through making a swirl. Very gently. You don't want to let the polishes come apart because that is a problem that can happen with this design. All right. So kind of dip in the middle to pick up with the dirty stuff. Okay, now find, find, oops, sorry, I'm going to do that one more time because I see a little something I don't want there. Alright, so now line up your nail with the area that you want to dip it into. Make sure you have this little thing to clean up with. Alright, I'm going to do it from this angle so you can see kind of. I'm going to stand up actually. 
actually know, I'm gonna sit back down. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Little blooper for you there. Alright, now take your taped white nail and find the area you want to dip. And do it. I think I got a little bit down on the spiral there, but I think it's going to look pretty. So now take this, blow on the top polish a little bit to make it dry. Pick this up. You pick this polish up so that it doesn't go on top of your nail because you have a nice pretty design already on top of it. All right, make sure it's all off of there. Don't want your design getting ruined now. And then just slowly pull up. All right, look at that. Ta-da! Nice little water marble. Water marble. All right, so now sometimes you can take, if you don't feel comfortable with doing it with your other hand because maybe you have nice polished hands, you can take the stick and do that right there. Boom. You can leave it or move it. And then take the other part. And do that. So now you grab yourself a Q-tip and a little dish polish remover. And remove the excess polish. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? First, what you want to do is take that other cleanup stick and go around the top of your cuticle to kind of break away the water marble that was on there. Sorry. So I did this right here. That gets rid of a lot of the uh, polish there. All right, so now we're just going to take the Q-tip and clean it away there. And now we can take the brush and clean the rest. Get nice and close to the edges. All right, boom. So now you let that dry and you put your top coat on. Yay, nice pretty nail. Hey everybody, I wanted to personally thank you for taking the time to watch my very first water marbling tutorial. And I wanted to let you know that I plan to make much more tutorials, water marbling, and other nail art alike. So thank you guys so much again, once again, for thank you so much once again for watching. And just keep checking me out on muckingfusser.com and at mucking underscore fusser on Instagram. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Mwah. Peace.